Find the centroid of the I-beam. This is a 5 by 1 beam at the top and bottom on a 4 by 1 beam that is offset in the center so that there's one inch to the middle and then an inch across for the beam itself. This is a clearly a composite body methods solution. So we want to have our chart. For each of my pieces, I'm going to need the X bar and the Y bar of the individual piece and its area. Then I have X bar A and Y bar A. That's my chart. I want to break my I-beam up into pieces that I know what to do with. So if I have the top piece, the middle piece, and the bottom piece, I can figure out where the centroid is for each of those individual elements. The centroid, for example, for the bottom element, you have to figure out where your, your coordinate system is. But if we leave that the coordinate system as anchored at the left-hand bottom corner, then the centroid of my bottom rectangle would be at x equals 2.5 and y equals 0 0.5. And the area of this 5 by 1 beam piece is 5. My middle piece has the coordinate of its centroid at 1.5 for x. Remember, we're still measuring always from that same origin. And 3 up with an area of 4. And the top piece has an x bar of 2.5, a y bar of 5.5. That would be almost all the way to the top of my 6-inch I-beam. And an area of 5. That means that the sum of my areas is 5 plus 5 plus 4 is 14. To find my x bar is I take the x bar column and the a column and multiply them together. So 2.5 times 5 is 12.5, 1.5 times 4 is 6, 2.5 times 5 is 12.5. It adds up to give me a sum of the x bar a's of 31. We'll multiply your y bar column times a. 5.5 times 5 is 27.5, 3 times 4 is 12, 0.5 times 5 is 2.5, and my sum of the y bar a's is 42. x bar is the sum of the a's, the sum of the x bar a's over the sum of the a's, which is 31 over 14, or 2.2143 inches. Y bar is the sum of the y bar a's over the sum of the a's, is 42 over 14, which is 3 inches. That's very good because this is a symmetric, and a centroid always needs to lie on any line of symmetry. So my answer is that the centroid lies at 2.21 inches right and 3 inches up from the bottom left corner.